welcome to Potter's training video on how to add and configure a panel for the IntelliView Link software. In this video, we'll be configuring the panel in the Potter programming software, adding a panel to the IntelliView Link, we'll discuss the IntelliView Link options, and the purpose of IntelliView. The first step in adding a panel to the IntelliView Link software is to configure your user code for the IntelliView Link. So I've accessed my panel software. I'm going to navigate to the Users tab. Then I always suggest coming down to user number 10 and labeling it as IntelliView. So that way you know why this passcode is being used. Come up with your unique user code. Then you will need to select PC Connect Unsupervised Multi-User. Now download your new configuration to the control panel and then we'll proceed to the next step which is adding the control panel to the IntelliView Link software. All right, so now that we've sent the configuration file to our control panel, again, the next step is to open the IntelliView link by double clicking, get this screen. Now we're going to add the panel in the IntelliView link. You can do this by clicking the plus sign. You'll see the panel importer. There's a few different options here. The first option here, which is browse, opens a standard file dialog, which allows for locating panel configuration files on your PC. One of the nice features about this, if you had multiple files that needed to be transferred, you can select multiple at one time by using your control or shift commands. So that is the browse feature. The next feature, which would be dragging and dropping a file into the center here. So if I had a file on my desktop, I could simply just drag it, drop it in the immediate here. It would ask if you want to add that panel. It's going to ask for that unique user code that we just previously added and the IP address of that control panel. The last one here, which is add panel, is going to ask for two pieces of information, the user code and the IP address. This option is normally chosen if the file and control panels are communicating over a network. This option is what we're going to proceed with. So I'll enter my unique user code. Then I will enter my IP address. Now I'm directly connected to my control panel from my laptop. And one of the nice features is there's nothing you need to do on your laptop in order to be able to communicate through the IntelliView software. So again, you can give your control panel essentially data by directly connecting to it, and it's still going to communicate to the IntelliView software. We'll click OK. And it takes a few seconds for it to retrieve the panel information. Once it comes up, it's going to give you the serial number or net BIOS number of that control panel, letting you know it's successfully retrieved the information. Then go ahead and click Finish. Now you're going to see your panel located here, along with the little heartbeat symbol, which runs panel diagnostics. And again, the nice thing is, once you do that, it's going to go out and ping the control panel to make sure it's communicating correctly, and it's also going to try and attempt, again, to retrieve that panel database. If you ever have trouble communicating to one of your control panels, this will be one of the first steps that we would suggest you to use. Now we'll click Close. Now one of the most important things is making sure you click Save prior to exiting the IntelliView Link configuration software. One of the other features of the IntelliView Link configuration software is the Start-Stop service. This will start or stop the IntelliView Link service from communicating with your file and control panels and or your BMS system. If you click Stop service, you will now see it says Stopped over here in the current state. Again, now this ends all communication to any system that you were previously communicating to. So if you're unable to communicate to those systems, come into the configuration software, see the current state. If it says stopped, make sure you click start service in order to go back to a green current state of running. Once you have successfully added your panel, now I would go back to the Potter and Teleview website to make sure your panel is showing up here. To do this, go to potterandteleview.com, log in, view your dashboard. You can see your locations, which are your panels. And the one we just added was the hospital panel. So I'll click on that. Now I can see whether this panel is online and what the current status is of this panel. For additional questions about the Potter product, please contact technical support at the phone number or email address shown on the screen. And as always, don't forget to follow us on social media.